Hello and welcome to another video. Let's start with the biggest question in this problem. Is there a difference between F dot G and F O G? Okay, I'm just gonna read it that way. But the correct way to read it is, is there a difference between F times G and F of G? So that's how to read it. In this case, you're multiplying two functions. So you're gonna be multiplying x squared minus x by one minus two x. So that's just the product of two polynomials. That should not be a problem. What about the second one? Are you multiplying? No, you're actually making the second function the input for the first function. So you're gonna say that um, what comes out of g of x? It's one minus two x. So now I'm gonna take one minus two x and make it the input. So instead of using just x, I'm going to be using the whole of the output from g of x. And as you can see, it is not likely that you're going to get the same result, but we're going to try it out. So let's get into it. So the very first one is f times g. That's how you read this. Okay, it's the product of two functions and f times g will simply be um, what you have here, x squared minus x multiplied by this one, one minus two x. So all we have to do now is multiply. This is gonna be x squared, and x squared times this would be negative two x cubed, Then this is gonna be negative x, and this will be positive two x squared. Well, if we arrange it in order, which is in standard form, this is gonna be the first term, negative two x cubed, and then I'm gonna have um, plus, 3x squared minus x. And basically, that's f times g. Okay? That's what we get. Now, let's see the other definition and see if it's going to work out. So, um, we want to look for number 2. And that's going to be f of g, which we can actually rewrite as f of, instead of writing f of x, What's going to be in here will be g of x. You see, that's another way to write it. So you can say it's f of g of x. Okay, now, so this is a composition, and what it means is that f of g will be the same thing as the function of, now the input is now going to be, instead of you writing just x, it's going to be 1 minus 2x. So the question you ask yourself is, what does f do to an input? Look at this. When you give it x, it squares it and subtract, subtracts x from it. Square it, subtract x from it. Subtract the input from it. So the same thing. Square it, then subtract it from it. So this is going to be the same thing as square it. You see? Square, then subtract the same thing from it. Make sure you put it in parentheses because you want to make sure that this negative is distributed. Okay, distributed. Okay, now here we go. We have 1 minus 4x plus 2x squared. That's what you get when you distribute this and you have minus 1, then this becomes plus 2x. So, here we go. Um, what can we put together? We can write 2x squared. Then you have negative 4x plus 2x gives you negative 2x. Then you have 1 minus 1. Well, cancels out. Okay, this was trying to cancel me out. Ain't gonna work. Okay, and that's it. So, as you can see, this does not look like this. Therefore, you can conclude that f times g is not equal to f of g. Okay. Well, this was, this was actually to explain this, that you have to take the output from the first to become the input for the second one, which would be this one. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.